Louise invests X pounds in better investments for three years. Sadiq invests X pounds in county bank for three years. So at the end of the three years, the value of Louise's investment is £344,605. So using this information, we need to work out the value of Sadiq's investment at the end of the three years. Okay, so Louise invested with better investments. So these were her terms. She invested X pounds to start off with. So now the interest each year is 2.5%. So the amount of money, we want to go up by 2.5%. So increasing by 2.5% is the same as multiplying by 1.025. So if here I put, we're going to multiply by 1.025. So this is after one year. So we start with our original amount. And in one year, it's going to go up by 2.5% because per annum means each year. So 2.5% per year. So multiplying by 1.025, we get our result after one year. However, we're looking at the end of three years. And how compound interest works is that whatever we have after the first year, including the original amount and the interest, we then get 2.5% the next year on all of that and then in the third year we're going to get all of that money and we're going to multiply it by 1.025 again to get the result is this the result after the first year so we got our original money and the interest and we want to get 2.5 percent on top of all of that money so i'm going to multiply again by 1.025 so this is the result after two years if we multiply again by 1.025 that's the result after three years and then we're told that louise's investment after three years, it's £344,605. So we know that this number will equal £344,605. So now if we tidy this up a bit, essentially we've got 1.025 multiplied by itself, multiplied by itself. So a nicer way we can write that is we can write 1.025 to the power of 3. And then that's multiplied by x equals 344605. So now we can solve this to work out the value of x. So if I divide both sides by 1.025 to the power of 3, this and this cancel, leaving us with x by itself on the left-hand side. And if we put all of this on the right-hand side in the calculator, we get an answer of 320,000. So therefore, we know Louise's initial investment amount was 320,000. However, we can see because Louise invested that, but also we know Sadiq also invested that. So Sadiq's initial investment must also be 320,000. So now different to Louise, Sadiq invested it with County Bank. So again, it's compound interest, so it works in the same way. It was 2% per annum, so per year for two years, and then 3.5% per year after that. So Sadiq had 320,000 to start with. And then for the first two years, we're going to multiply by 1.02. And we're doing that for two years, so we're going to do that again. And then for the third year, it goes up to 3.5%. So it's going to be multiplying by 1.035. And as before, we're multiplying here by 1.025 because we're increasing by 2.5%. So here it's 1.02 because we're increasing by 2%. And 1.035 because we're increasing by 3.5%. So if we pop this into the calculator to work it out, I get a value of 344,580 and 48p, which is our final answer. We get one mark up here for starting the process of working out what the initial investment amount was. We got a second mark here for working out what the initial investment amount was. And then we get one mark for working down here and a final mark if we get the correct answer.